Hey guys, this is Adam here with Thoroughbred Diesel, uh, sitting down with Barry Carter, owner of S&B Filters. Uh, today we're going to tackle a question that we get from you guys all the time, and that's, uh, do you want an oiled filter for your cold air intake, or do you want a dry filter? Um, we get this a whole lot, you guys, it really seems to, to you know, weigh on you. So we brought in an expert in the filter industry today, uh, and we're just kind of going to let Barry uh, just run through it for us. Barry? Um, you know, why does someone want a oil filter over a dry filter? Does one perform better over the other? Or, you know, is it just a matter of the individual uh, person? You know, why would you pick one over the other? Well, from a performance standpoint, they're very similar. There's subtle differences in performance. You can see those on our website. Mm -hmm. or, however, it really comes down to what kind of person are you? Are you the kind of person that wants to just take their filter out and throw it away? Or are you the type of person that wants to clean the filter? Because our dry, our dry filter is disposable and our cleanable filter is cleanable. Right. So I know they make uh, even filter wraps, which is basically just like a sock that goes over these. How do those help? And, you know, is there a reason why you would want run one over the other on those? Well, regardless of which filter you choose, I recommend a filter wrap. If it's a filter wrap for on your cleanable filter, is going to keep the big stuff out, the bugs and so forth, which is going to make it way easier to maintain your filter. From a dry standpoint, it's going to extend the life of the filter, so it's going to run longer. The nice thing about the dry filter is we've had some situations where people in extreme dusty environments with very dry dust, they use the dry filter because they can take compressed air, whether it's in the vehicle or outside the vehicle, and take compressed air and just hit it on the outside and extend the life of the filter that way. Or they can take it off and hit the compressed air on the inside, which is going to extend the life of the filter. And that's really good in really dusty environments. Because you can't ever right. use compressed air on a cotton filter as it would it would it would destroy the uh, cotton fibers. Perfect. Now, is there a reason why, you know, people with brand new trucks call in a lot of times and they go, hey, what should I put on my truck? Should I do a, an oil filter? Do I have to worry about it causing warranty issues or anything like that? Uh, is there a reason why you would go with dry over old if it's a brand new truck? Number one, neither is going to cause a warranty issue. We stand behind you no matter what when right. it comes to, to dealers. So neither Neither filter will void your warranty. That's a critical comment. However, if you want to just avoid any kind of confrontation at all with, with a, a dealer that's, the, that's unethical, if you run the dry filter, they can't ever claim that you cleaned it improperly. Right. Now, when it comes to cleaning uh, these, and obviously I know the dry filter, the only cleaning you can do is to bang it on something or blow it out with the compressed air. Uh, but you're cleaning the cleaning that you require on filters, uh, go into that a little bit, how important that is when it comes to running an oiled filter. It's just critical. If you're going to use any oil, oiled uh, cotton filter, it's critical you put the right amount of oil on it. The oil is the filtering agent. Mm -hmm. Don't use an aerosol can. We have a great cleaning kit that allows you to meter how much oil you put on the filter very easily, and it's just critical. And if you put the right amount of oil on it, it's going to protect your engine. Yeah. If you don't, it won't. And that's, that's critical across any filter, not just S and B. It's, if someone did have another filter and that was the oil is critical, that they have to get the right amount on there, right? Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. So, Barry, uh, here's the last final question and probably the most important one that our viewers wanted to know. Which one do you run on your truck? Hmm. That's a good question. I've run both. And to tell you the truth, they, they both perform great. However, I'm kind of partial to the uh, oiled mm -hmm. cotton gauze. It looks, it looks real nice, and uh, technically it holds a little bit more dirt as well. Perfect. So it can go longer before you have to clean it. Okay. Well, hopefully this has answered some of your guys' questions. Uh, if you have any further questions for us, post them in the comments below. We'll have somebody answer, uh, answer those periodically. Um, obviously, if you have more questions, feel free to call in, email us, whatever you normally do. Make sure and follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully we answered some questions.